Hey guys, I haven't done a video in a while, sorry. I've been really busy lately with work and dealing with people that just don't want to pay for commissions, which is very frustrating. Anyways, I'm going to do the 10 minute art challenge. It's 10 minutes for one drawing, one minute for another, and then 10 seconds for the final one. So this will be a little bit longer video. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So I have my timer going on my computer right now. And because I take recordings on my phone because I'm ridiculous and don't have a camera for YouTube yet. As you can see, I'm drawing Hanzo, Punk Hanzo, because he's my favorite. This exercise is really good uh, if you want to get your speed up. Just draw a simple character, either a character from a series you really like or uh, one of your own personal characters that you know how to draw really well. And if you have problems with speed, this eliminates, um, as the time series go on, it eliminates your need to get every detail down. It allows you to just like isolate the drawing into its basic parts and realize the main shapes that you have to get down so that you can do a drawing in a faster amount of time or at least get your sketch down faster. So because I have 10 minutes, I can actually start going in and increasing the line thickness and get my qual line quality up. Um, line quality is, tangent, is one of those things that everyone's always harping about in schools, especially like, oh, your line quality is crap. Well, basically line quality is thick and thin lines that describe form. So a thick line, um, 
usually means a shadow and a thin line is usually um, this, the form turning towards the light. Also, when two forms kind of press together, that creates a thin line because they are kind of fusing the forms together. It just gives the illusion of overlap and where the light source is coming from. I am notoriously shitty at doing this type of line. It took me a while to wrap my head around it because every time I try and explain it to myself and like explain it to others or my teachers, they'd be like, no, that's wrong. I'm like, God damn it. So it just took a while to wrap my head around it. A really great thing, I was I watch a lot of YouTube channels where they um, talk about ways to study properly and focus and all that kind of thing. And um, I have a really hard time focusing, hence why I go off on tangents. <laughs> um, so basically what one of the methods was is if you can teach something in its basic form to someone so that they can understand it, you are more likely to learn it. So that kind of became one of the things I would do when I was in school is I would try and teach what I knew to people so that the concepts would solidify more in my mind as well. It's If you can break things down into their basic parts, you will be it'll be easier to grasp certain concepts. So I would have used better paper. I'm just using printer paper for this. I would have painted it, but I didn't, so I'm not going to. Anyway. It's not a big deal. Oh, 45 seconds, god damn. I was taking way too long. My problem is usually I'm done my 
first sketch and I'm on to the next one in this length of time so but this is actually good for me to finish sketches so I guess I can use it as a, a cornerstone so there we go one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that was my timer. So I'm going to go to one minute and recreate this sketch in one minute. Also sharpen my pencil, because that has to be done. All right, start the one minute mark now. basic body pose down in a minute. Oh man, 10 seconds is gonna suck. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna reset the timer. And we're gonna go 10 seconds. Ah, Alright. So. Get a drawing down in 10 seconds. Alright, let's see what we can do. down in 10 seconds and that's my one minute and that's my 10 minute so I think I got more of the body pose instruction down in 10 seconds than I did the one minute because I was too focused on the face okay so basically really good exercise to get down your speed you want to get the pose down and like the mood of the character down in those 10 seconds, like in the first minute, you always want to get your pose down. In 10 seconds, you want to have like the general flow of what they're doing. First minute, you can also start adding in some features and tightening up lines a little bit. I focused too much on the face and I should have went more into the body, but you know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. So that was a really fun exercise. Um, I definitely suggest it. Use a timer, use your phone timer, um, post them online get people to get feedback for you. I will post this on my Instagram, which is at M-I-A New Archer on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will see you later. Bye.